to our hand. Oh, Father. Oh, Father, we bless you. Most high. How could we have ever doubted you, most high? You have returned back to Zion, most high. <laughs> With thy tender mercies, most high. <laughs> Oh, Most High, pour thy spirit out on thy people, Most High. There is none like you, Most High. None that can compare or eclipse your power, your infinite wisdom, your strength, your might, and your favor. Oh, you are all together. Praise worthy of all the praise and the honor and the glory. I just sit still before you, Most High. And look forward to each passing day that more, getting more intimate with you, that you continually to keep us most high, that we do not have to carry heavy burdens most high, but we can cast our burdens upon you and that you will establish and sustain us most high, that you will give insight, that you will give charge to thy holy angels concerning thy, well, thy people's well-being most high. And for that, we thank you, Most High. We are gathered here today on the Holy Sabbath to say, Father, thank you for this blessed rest that you have given to us. Thank you for the dearly beloved Son of your love, Most High. Thank you for the musicians who sing your praise, Most High. Thank you for your able ministers and your perfect laborers that you have thrust out into your into the into your vineyard. Like Yasha says. Go out into the highways and byways and compel them to come in. And that's what this Holy Armor ministry, that's what ministry is about. Tell everyone. That, do you know that Israel was, was invited to, to, to Yasha's uh, wedding feast? But they themselves, a lot of them were so busy doing this, that, and the other that they missed their cue. They missed their calling. And so yet the Most High still said, he still would not withhold his tender mercies from us. He said that he would seek us out if we went astray. And now we're seeing the fulfillment of him pouring out his Holy Spirit like back in, uh, uh, in, in Acts, when we read in Acts 2, 1 through 21, how there was devoted men. That means pious men, men of piety, of reverence that was there for the Feast of Weeks or Pentecost. And the outpouring of the Most High's Holy Spirit, the promise that Yasha said in Luke chapter 24 and verses, I believe if I remember correctly, 49, that when the Spirit be poured out, that, 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 that power would come down from heaven and rest upon them. Father, we ask that you would go before each and every one of us not just for this day and not for tomorrow, because tomorrow is not pr promised to us, but for eternity. And we humbly come before you, Most High, strip ourselves of any title, uh, of any self-entitlement, of any self-righteousness, Most High. It is your mercy, it's your favor that causes us to excel that gives us the ability, Most High, when we come with free choice and free will. I sat today and thought about when will the Gentiles come to the light of Yasharala. And here it is that time when we learn how to be obedient, when we learn how to keep and put you first before everything, Most High. And so I thank you, Most High, for your infinite wisdom, for your strength and your power. I thank you, Father, that your nature, your character is perfect without flaws. It's more than anything that any person can can describe or put their hands on but yet father what we can know of you because you manifest yourself to those who do not put you to the test meaning that they do not approach you with a double mind they do not think to try to to bribe you or give you an ultimatum they do not come with an ulterior motive father we say yes to your will and yes to your word yes to your anointing Father, we are not pleasers of men. We don't care what people in appearing eyes and, uh, and ears are listening. It is unto you that our adoration goes to you, Father. That most high, that you would be moved, most high. Father, you have given us pastors that would feed us with knowledge and understanding. And we thank you, most high, that you have birthed them up, most high. That you have carried them and you bear them up, most
most high. That you lift up a standard against every unclean spirit, every wow or tactic of the devil, that it falls uh, annoyed and void. That, that it is void and, and disannulled in the name of Yeshua. That it cannot prosper. It cannot go beyond the spiritual hedges of protection and boundaries that you have put in place for those that love and fear you. We thank you, Father, for the, the supernatural divine institution of marriage. We bring every marriage that was established by you in the name of Yeshua before your throne of grace, Father. We ask that, Father, that you would cleanse the wives and cleanse the husbands. We ask that, Father, that you would cleanse the children, most high, cleanse their minds. We ask that, Heavenly Father, that, that your holy angels that, that stand around your throne, that are encamped around your throne, that, most high, that they would lift up a praise to you, most high, and say, Father, send us that we might that we might war on behalf of your righteous elect most high that we might annihilate most high and obliterate every satanic injunction and plot and, and vice that was ever devised to make it fail utterly in the name of Yeshua, that we might give unto your handmaids, to your servants most high, to the young men and to the, to the older men and to the young women and the older women most high, that we might give revelation that most high that you would lavish where what would dash upon us, that most high that we become proficient in binding and in loosening unclean spirits from their assignment and to cast them down to hell immediately in the name of Yeshua, that every yoke would be broken. 